For those of you who don't know, we're building the earth in Minecraft, one-to-one -one scale. Every single building. Yes, that, including that your house, house, eventually. <laughs> Though you could hop on the server and build it now, if you want. Right now. You could even build the chair and computer you're playing on. Make an actual redstone computer that simulates the functions of your computer's hardware so that you can watch yourself watching this video while you watch this video. And just repeat this pattern of inception forever until you break the universe's actual hard drives, allowing us to either escape reality to the world above or cause a simulation to crash, which would mean the end of existence. Anyways, we started this project a year ago. We first formed its Discord, and we made this channel. It was called Showcase, and it functioned as the primary way for builders to show the amazing things they built in this project, there being billions of buildings to choose from. Now, a year into the project, and this channel has a legendary history of some of the most mind-blowing things you've ever seen. So I decided to review the entire 15-month history of the entire channel, and I've got to tell you, this killed me inside a little bit. 7,500 submissions will start to make your brain drain, so I had to cut this process of review up into a couple of days. But at the end of it, I had saved a list of about 120 of my favorite submissions from the channel over the whole course of its year history. I've combed that list to find what I personally think are the top 10, and have tiered them accordingly. If you guys like this video and want to see me tier the entire list of 100, from worst to best, for a sequel to this, put a like on this video or let me know in the comments with the top 100. I do not claim to be an objective judge. Judge, which is why I'm referring to this as my favorites as opposed to the top 10 objectively best build the earth creations known to mankind. So if you agree with me on this list, that's weird that we have the exact same aesthetic tastes. And if you disagree, let me know how much I suck as a judge in the comments. This list is insane and the creations get more insane as we get through the list and you'll never guess who's number one. At number 10, we have the Taj Mahal built by Daniel TNC, commissioned to be built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan in 1653. The estimated cost of building this was almost a billion US dollars in today's money. Shah Jahan was eventually deposed by his son, and upon his death was buried in the Taj Mahal. The building he commissioned stands almost 500 years later today, proving without a doubt that the impact of our lives can last long after we're gone. Number 9 is St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City, made by Small ASEAN, or Small Asian, whatever. Construction starting in 1858 and not completing until 1888. I mean the real-life construction. Small ASEAN did not build this in Minecraft during the 1800s. That would be preposterous. He must have built it at least 100 years later than that. This cathedral was slowly constructed straight out of the Gangs of New York era, where when the finished cathedral stood larger than anything else in the city, today the skyscrapers and every block around it dwarf the structure. Although dwarfed by these structures, the cathedral the cathedral without a doubt remains unmatched in architectural marvel and wonder. Eighth place goes to Westminster Abbey, built by Chief and Small ASEAN. Our oldest building yet of almost 800 years of age, some parts almost 1,000. And unlike the Taj Mahal, which successfully led Japanese bombers in World War II astray by covering it with scaffolding, Westminster was severely damaged during World War II, its roof collapsing by bombs. It was designated an abbey for centuries, a cathedral for 15 years, and then neither. But it could also be designated like the Taj Mahal as a tomb, with over 3,000 people buried here throughout the ages, being described as Britain's Valhalla. Okay, number seven. I love this one. Santa Cruz de la Slot, made by Scott, Sven Owenson, and Daniel TNC. This is a tiny island crammed with a cluster of buildings. Look at it. And if you thought that wasn't enough, it's the second most densely populated island per square foot in the world at over 1,000 residents. I don't understand how, but they do. And to my surprise, they didn't inhabit this island they created it. They piled coral, debris, stone, and whatever else they could find to create the island, which is believed to have been done in 1870, though no evidence exists to confirm this. I looked up Google reviews, and apparently it's a pretty crazy place. I hope they have a raucous bar. It would be on the top of my visit list when I travel. Number six is the Illa de la Discordia, located in the Pasique de Garcia in Barcelona, Spain, built by Daniel TNC. Five out of the six buildings of the row were done by some of the most renowned Catalan modernista architects in history, whose names I couldn't pronounce if my life depended on it. And I don't know how my life would depend on it, but get creative. This pick may be controversial, but it still blows me away looking at this, that a row of small buildings based on a structural format we would harshly call in America an outlet mall could be so beautiful and complex, and translated into Minecraft form with immaculate detail even from behind. Finish the city blocks around it. I want to see it in proper form. Number five is another island, but unlike anything you've ever seen, Mont Saint Michel by Earth the Build on BTE France. It wasn't accomplished by one builder, but many because of its immense size and not by ordinary builders. The builders listed to the side here are members of Earth the Build, a private Build the Earth team dedicated to pursuing the highest possible competence and skill levels in building the real world in Minecraft one-to-one -one scale as great and as accurate 
accurately as possible. And it shows. This thing looks like something out of a Disney-inspired, breathtaking acid trip. It's been fought over by civilizations throughout the ages, including Roman times, sieges during the Middle Ages, all the way up to strategic utilization by the Germans in World War II, the last time the island would ever witness combat. It's a world treasure, and no wonder. It's the real-life inspiration for Minas Tirith from Lord of the Rings. Except Mont St. Mikel is only populated by 30 people, in stark contrast to both Minas Tirith and previous islands on this list. We're going around the world to Hong Kong for number four. It's hard to pass up on anything in Hong Kong with their massive, fascinating residential complexes that seem to never end with their trippy, repeating stacking patterns. But what really blows me away is their central government complex building, opened in 2011. It took three years to finish, involved over 3,000 workers, and cost $6.4 billion. Some may argue where I've ranked this, but look at this sh man. For some reason, I just can't stop staring at it, and I don't know why. The massive door pattern of the building, the way the surrounding park and architecture curves and angles around its central shape, it really appeals to me. Shout out to Build the Earth Hong Kong for completely nailing this one. Number three is this 7-Eleven from Seattle, Washington, built by Shy Guy. Sorry, no, no, I'm just kidding. That, that was a joke. Some of you may have been anticipating this. Number three is Notre Dame de Paris, built by London. London the builder, not the place. Nearly a thousand years old, surviving sieges, French revolutions, Napoleon, and the world wars, it's the most famous cathedral in the world, and it's the heart of French and European culture with over 12 million visitors a year. To get a measure of this, Heraclius of Caesarea called for the Third Crusade inside the cathedral while it was still being built. The survival of the cathedral is a miracle. Following the French Revolution, the cathedral was possessed by the cult of reason and the cult of the supreme being, during which it sustained serious damage and desecration. After the fall of Napoleon, it was in such a state of disrepair, France considered demolishing it. To save it, the author Victor Hugo in the early 1800s wrote the novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which would eventually become the Disney movie, which repopularized support for it and saved the cathedral. But the cathedral unfortunately caught fire in 2019, causing the roof to buckle and come crashing down, and is currently closed for renovations for the next five years. London says it will take over 10 years of education to the artisans and builders in charge because the building techniques were completely forgotten when we moved to the modern and postmodern building era. So we built Notre Dame in all its pre-fire glory in order to never forget the beating heart of Parisian culture that has withstood the test of time and a litany of disasters threatening its existence. All right, here we go. Number two, the Burj Khalifa, built by Krudnut. The construction took five years and the exterior was completed in 2009. And when it was finished, it broke nearly every world record loosely tied to the words building, structure, height, highest, and tallest. The structure is so immense that when the wind hits its complete length, it bends like a reed in the wind, causing the top floors to sway a total of 1.5 meters in each direction. And as frightening as you can imagine that feeling if you were up there, you're supposedly safe because the entire structure was created and designed to accommodate the stress of bending over its entire length. Architects. To give you an idea of how massive this thing is, the air conditioning provides cooling equivalent to 26 million pounds of ice melting in one day. It's so high, 64 chunk vertical render distance in cubic chunks Minecraft is barely enough to keep the ground loaded while you're at the top. Also in 2009, during completion, these two guys snuck in pretending to be engineers, got to the 160th floor, and jumped off. They jumped off the balcony with parachutes, setting the world record for base jumping, landed, evaded the cops, did it again two days later, and then got caught and arrested. They said that when you're free falling, it feels like a dream. Well, seeing this building in Minecraft felt like a dream to me. The girth of this thing is unreal, and its rank totally deserved. Number one was shown to me late last summer on a smaller server containing some of the most interesting, serious, and dedicated builders I've ever known. Romania is a country south of Ukraine on the ground which once stood the Macedonian Empire and is home to some of the most immense shit I've ever seen in Minecraft. The Romanian Palace of Parliament, built by Andy An and Zubi69. It's the heaviest building in the world, weighing nine billion pounds. 700,000 tons of steel and bronze, 350,000 square meters of marble, and almost 1 million square meters of wood. This thing is a monstrosity. 
It's actually larger in volume than any of the individual pyramids of Egypt. It has over 1,000 rooms, and the Guinness Book of World Records ranks it second after the Pentagon under administrative buildings. I might be biased here, but I'm a sucker for courts and size and opulence. Romania takes the cake. This is without a doubt my favorite and the most intense and underrated thing I've ever seen in Minecraft. And that's the top 10. So far we've had thousands of builders put their elbow grease and life essence into leaving a mark on the unlimited possibilities with this project. And in the first year, despite all of these mind-blowing sights, we've only scratched the surface of what's possible. If you're thinking right now, I could never build that. You're wrong. You're actually wrong. These builders who built the top 10, I've seen some of their work from the very beginning of the project, and it certainly left more to be desired, or looked like beginner quality. They're not more talented than you. They don't have some special genetic ability that you don't. They merely put the work into their craft, pun intended. If you've always wanted to build immense and beautiful creations like this, we have a streamlined educational process and community here to help you every step of the way. But the most interesting buildings on the surface of the earth won't remain untouched on our Minecraft Earth 1 to 1 scale forever. Now is your opportunity, and now is our time to leave a mark on the most ambitious project in Minecraft. Join the Discord and the network to join our community and make tomorrow a better yesterday today. Ah, isn't this the Lego Cafe? Nice. Though I'm struggling to find the Statue of Liberty. The White House. Oh, what an insane shot. You know, this was actually burnt down. Hobbiton, nice, nice, very cool, rebuilding Hobbiton, very big fan of Narnia. Hogwarts, as well, didn't know that was a real place, pretty cool. Look at this dude on his Mac, look at the little- <laughs> You throw yourself into a paradox, He's got a Mac, what a loser. They made it twice, they made New York twice, New York 2, <laughs> coming soon, <laughs> New York 3, coming soon. I can't wait for New York like, 4. Hide these. If they make six of them, I think I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh man, oh, it humor, gets better humor. every okay. single time. Now it's too much. So now it's too much. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh, here it comes. Oh, here it oh god, it's gonna hit me. It's gonna hit me. Oh, we're good, we're good. Oh, we just missed it. We just oh. missed it. Is that Mr. Beast's island? My shit is in my ass and it is coming out. Wow, like is that right way, as we is, speak? Why is it? It looks oh, like on, a Millennium Falcon. It's on fire. Oh it's god. Fire. Smoke. Oh god. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why is it oh, like that? This oh, looks like uh, what oh, what Willy Wonka's candy. dad's house looked candy. like, <laughs> except that his dad was resented candy because his dad was a dentist. Oh yeah, his dad was Count Dooku. I, I was about to say he was Count Dooku. <laughs> the oh, we're getting devil. the build up. Oh, now this is cinematography. <gasps> oh, oh my God! Oh, now that was sick. Okay, yeah. can we give a shout out to London? Not the place, London the person. Okay, now it is Hogwarts. Oh my I mean, God! Denver. Oh my oh, lord, it's, it's so Dubai. big, I regretted it's, that halfway oh through. My. Big thanks to Chimo, Feelsbad, Fall.exe, Megan Leckie, and Swagfish. You guys are the best. Right in my cervix, right in my cervix. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what the fuck is right in my cervix? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, right in my liver, right in my liver.